In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome, everyone, as we gather today on this very special day, which is called Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday. This is the Sunday before Easter, before we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. There are two parts mainly to this Sunday, which we remember Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, where the people carried palm branches and welcomed him into the city of David. But also, we remember Jesus' passion and death, as we will hear in the gospel today, as we enter into this very holy season, this, this holy week in which uh, we prepare for the Easter Tridium, the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. So as we prepare to meet with Christ today, let us do so humbly and with contrite hearts as we ask God for mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who, as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he empties himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness. And found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, 
God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus stood before the governor, Pontius Pilate, who questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, you say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now, on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. At, and at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus, called Christ? For he knew it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message, have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, let him be crucified. But he said, why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, louder let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, his blood be upon us and upon our children. Then he released Barabbas to them but after he had Jesus scourged and handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a, a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak and dressed him in his own clothes and led him off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they had come to the place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. 
Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would have destroyed the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you are the son of God and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders mocked him and said, he saved others, he cannot save himself. So he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now and we will believe in him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, this one is calling for Elijah. And immediately one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine and putting it on a reed, gave it to Jesus to drink. But the rest said, wait, let us see if Elijah comes to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and delivered up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurion and the men who were with him keeping watch over Jesus, feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening. And they said, truly, this was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us join together now in faith as we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus cried out to God in his time of need, and so with trust that God listens to our prayers, let us bring our needs now before the Lord. Strengthen the wills of the baptized to accompany those in times of suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Thwart the plans of those who seek to harm others this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Unite all of us gathered here in a spirit of prayer, fasting and almsgiving as we approach the Easter Triduum. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, for those who are suffering during these trying times, for those who are joining us in prayer, both remotely and in person, and for all the personal mass intentions we bring before the Lord in the quiet of our hearts.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O God of suffering, Jesus Christ willingly gave himself up to death on the cross so that our sins might be forgiven. Receive our prayers that during this holy week we might draw ever closer to the faith of the cross and the hope of resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your Lift up your hearts. Up the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For th though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased for us justification. And so with all the angels and saints, Father, we praise you as in joyful celebration we now acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and you are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George Leo Thomas, our bishop, Gregory Gordon, our auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Father, welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you, Father, throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and that we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now at our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, together let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us share with each other now a sign of Christ's peace to us all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called now to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for celebrating this Mass today, all of you joining us on television, all of you here at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. I wish you all a very blessed Holy Week as we prepare to celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus this coming week. And as we do so, let us do it with his grace and blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is now ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Amen. Thanks be to God.